On a morning in May 2023, only miles away from the North Korean border, American and South Korean tanks traverse the rugged terrain, with their mighty cannons unleashing devastating rounds. Nearby, hundreds of drones flew in formation. Soldiers fast roped from a KUH-1 Sarayan helicopter, and fighter jets streaked across the sky, their powerful engines roaring in unison. However, this was not war, but a powerful display of military might. During the spring of 2023, the South Korean and United States militaries embarked on their largest ever joint live fire exercises. These drills are meticulously designed to simulate a full-scale attack by North Korea. Following the event, photographs of the thunderous military prowess emerged online. Other than embodying the determination and readiness of these allied forces, the pictures sent a clear message to the North. Their belligerence will be met with the unwavering strength and resolve of a joint South Korea and United States task force. The Drill of a Lifetime On May 25, 2023, South Korea and the United States launched their largest ever live fire exercise in front of a live audience and dozens of cameras. During the event, aptly named Combined Annihilation Firepower Drills, more than 2,500 troops and 610 weapon systems, including fighter jets, attack helicopters, drones, tanks, and artillery from both nations of a full-scale attack from North Korea. The event was captured in a series of incredible photographs that encapsulated their overwhelming military capability against the North's never-ending threats. In the exercise, South Korean's K-2 battle tanks maneuvered and fired live rounds at targets on a mountainside in Pochon near the fortified border with their neighbor, sending smoke, dust, and powerful shockwaves across the valley. According to South Korea's defense ministry, the drills will be held four more times from May until mid-June 2023, adding that the exercises, quote, demonstrated our military's capability and readiness to strongly respond to North Korea's nuclear and missile threats and to a full-scale attack. These live fire drills follow an earlier visit by South Korean President Yong suk yeol to the White House. The April 2023 event, which included a state dinner, resulted in a declaration signed by Yoon and United States President Joe Biden, committing to enhancing nuclear deterrence coordination between the two allies. The declaration also aimed to reassure South Korea that it remains protected under the United States nuclear umbrella, and as such, does not need to consider acquiring its own nuclear arsenal in case of a confrontation. Partnership The May 25, 2023 drill is not an isolated occurrence, as it marks 70 years since the establishment of a military alliance signed between Seoul and Washington, an alliance that has withstood the test of time and political changes. Throughout their long history of military collaboration, the United States and South Korean combined annihilation firepower drills have been held 11 times since 1977. These exercises have consistently been performed in response to North Korean military provocations, demonstrating the steadfast commitment and, most importantly, the readiness of this decades-long alliance. Over the years, the drills have grown in scale and complexity. The most recent exercises, in 2017, drew about 2,000 soldiers and 250 weapons assets from both countries. However, the global COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 forced a shift in the format of these large-scale field training exercises, leading to virtual drills to ensure the safety of the personnel. Then, in 2023, the live event was back. Beginning in March, the United States and South Korea launched their most extensive field exercises in years, bringing together their armies, air forces, and navies. From land-based operations to sea drills involving the iconic USS Nimitz nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the exercises will push the boundaries of military coordination and interoperability until mid-June. The initial announcement was accentuated with a powerful display of force as American pilots flew a long-range B-1B bomber to the Korean Peninsula. Due to its weapons capacity, the bomber is one of the most hated aircraft by the North Koreans. The Standoff A few days after the release of the stunning photographs, 
an official press release published by the Korean Central News Agency, North Korea's state-run news agency, issued a chilling statement, quote, Their sinister plot to annihilate us militarily stands as an unmistakable testament to the deranged madness of warmongering foes. The frenetic nuclear war hysteria perpetuated by the United States and their puppet-like warmongers is poised to unleash dire consequences. According to analysts based in Seoul, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un might exploit the joint South Korea-United States drills as a pretext to resume belligerent testing activities. Responding to the Biden UN agreement, Kim Yo-jong, the sister of the North Korean leader, menacingly declared, quote, "...the illusion cherished by the United States and South Korea will now confront the resolute might of our nation." In recent months, North Korea has intensified its military maneuvers. They have also made notable advancements, including the disclosure of blueprints for compact nuclear warheads, the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile with enough range to strike the United States, and the alleged testing of an underwater attack drone, speculated to possess nuclear capabilities. But one of their most critical achievements is the development of a spy satellite. Failure to launch In mid-May 2023, leader Kim Jong-un conducted an inspection of a military satellite station, emphasizing the nation's urgent need to successfully launch a spy satellite. Kim has consistently emphasized the importance of the spy satellite program as part of their efforts to enhance surveillance technology, specifically to monitor American and South Korean military operations. In the event of an actual conflict, such advanced capabilities would aid in identifying potential missile targets, including those armed with nuclear warheads. During the visit, the official North Korean news agency assured that the satellite was fully prepared for deployment onto a rocket following a successful testing phase that concluded in December. On May 31st, just days after the massive joint drill between South Korea and the United States, North Korea made an audacious attempt to launch its first military spy satellite into orbit in response to what Kim perceived as a rehearsal for invasion. The rocket took off in the early morning from North Pyongan province, but encountered a devastating setback. It lost thrust shortly after the separation of its first and second stages, resulting in a failure that caused it to crash into the western coast of the Korean peninsula. In the aftermath of the unexpected launch, officials in Seoul immediately issued alerts through public speakers and smartphones, urging residents to prepare for possible evacuation. Additionally, the Japanese government activated a missile warning system in southwestern Japan, initially fearing that the rocket was on a trajectory toward their region. Fortunately, no immediate reports of damages or disruptions emerged, and Seoul subsequently lifted the alert. The failure of the North Korean satellite launch was a stark contrast to the preceding display of military might during the joint drills. Escalation As a consequence of these unfolding events, the United Nations Security Council swiftly convened an emergency meeting, responding to urgent calls made by the United States, Japan, and other concerned nations. The gathering aimed to address the clear violation of resolutions prohibiting North Korea from conducting any launch involving ballistic technology. In a defiant response, Kim Yo-jong dismissed the council as a mere United States appendage, asserting with resolve, quote, North Korea will persist in taking proactive measures to exercise all the lawful rights of a sovereign state, including the right to launch a military reconnaissance satellite. According to the latest statements issued by the secretive nation, scientists were diligently investigating the cause of the failed launch, and Kim Jong-un has pledged to expedite preparations for a second attempt at deploying a spy satellite at the earliest opportunity. With a second launch scheduled for June, the North's unwavering commitment to missile testing is evident especially in the face of the joint United States and South Korean combined annihilation firepower drills. Meanwhile, South Korea's military affirmed its determination to conduct the remaining joint drills alongside their American counterparts. The interwoven events of the live fire drills, the failed satellite launch, the ensuing international discussions, and the ever-present threat of escalation is a delicate balance that shapes the Korean Peninsula's landscape and the enduring alliance that promises to protect the South if the situation deteriorates. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. Before you go, make sure to hit the like button and hit the notification bell to be the first to know about our new videos.
Also, subscribe to this and all our Dark Documentaries channels for more history and military-inspired content. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.